This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The objective was just to find out if long and short total sleep times affected uh, the risk for suicide in teens because... At Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, Journal Club students from Western Suffolk BOCES are learning to challenge some of the most brilliant minds in the world. This Journal Club brings together students with their science teachers and librarians and well-known scientists in a forum for a scientific conversation. That conversation starts with the students reading real journal articles and then presenting their findings to the club. This skill fulfills a key academic requirement. And it is part of the Common Core state standards in ELA and um, there's new science standards that have just come out from the state that they learn something and they're able to share what they learn. And helping the students understand and share are some heavy hitters. We have here scientists, real researchers, who help students to analyze papers, to present the papers, and to question even the results that is in the paper. The questioning of results was the focus of this six-session program. Even though they don't have a lot of experience in doing this, they still have valid points of view that they can express when they read the paper. Just because you're not a PhD scientist doesn't mean you can't question the things you're reading and have an opinion. In a world where anyone can post anything onto the internet, the students were taught how to find the facts. It's not only to educate a kid that maybe will go to college and pursue a career in science, but it's really for everybody, for all the kids, to be able really to analyze uh, news, to understand them, to analyze them with a critical mind, and to understand what is good and what is bad. Jay, who challenged the students to be systematically skeptical when reading an article, was pleasantly surprised. When I challenged all the kids to, this is how you should read the article, this is how you ask the question, and this is how you should challenge the author. Do they really do the right job? And the reception I got from the students was very positive. Women with epilepsy, they have to be treated as if you're always expecting a pregnancy. We're often taught in school that what is said is the truth. It was a new approach to be able to look at the science and then think, hey, maybe this wasn't quite done correctly. It was unnatural to be put in that position because you go in knowing you don't know as much as these people know. So how can I possibly make a valid statement as to what they're doing is possibly incorrect? While Catherine found questioning authority unnatural, in the world of research, it's in their nature. Uh, you can be a student and there is a Nobel Prize laureate giving a seminar and uh, you disagree with some uh, interpretation of this fact. You can raise your hand at any point in a seminar and you can make your point. We hope that we make the, these clear also to the students that participate on this, that uh, every opinion is always valuable and everybody should really use their brain power. The final session in included extreme use of the students' brain power. They took turns presenting articles to the researchers, then enduring a barrage of questions. Getting through this exercise boosted their confidence. It took me a while to really understand how to challenge the authorities, the people that are writing these articles. Um, and I don't think I really grasped it until I was presenting. I think it's very valuable that I'm getting a head start now as to when I go off to college that I'm already starting to become confident in challenging what other people think and beginning my own way of thinking about the world and my opinions. The good vibrations also affected the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory staff who are concerned that not enough youth are attracted to the world of science. I'm really optimistic after this session that science will go ahead because we do have next generation who is interested in science.